Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Welcome, Albert Foss, for today's English lesson. I hope you are doing well. I'm also very fine and very eager to continue with the today's lesson. Now, today, we're going to look at something we call order of adjectives. Order of adjectives. Now, we have already seen that adjectives, adjectives are describing, describing words. They tell us more about something. They tell us more about uh, something. And uh, I remember I was looking at uh, the pencil, uh, pencil, and we gave her several adjectives. Somebody said red, uh -huh, small, uh -huh, big. But of course, a pencil cannot be small and big at the same time. These ones are some of the awards that we gave when we were describing our pencil. Uh -huh, sharp, very good. So at times, uh, you may want to use one, more than one word to describe something. So my pencil can be red and small. My pencil can be small and sharp. My pencil can be big and sharp. So you want to use uh, more than one word to describe uh, uh, the, the item that you have, that is the noun. Now, when it comes to that, it is important to arrange. To order means to arrange. To arrange. Arrange the adjectives. Adjectives in a particular way that is allowed or established in English. To arrange the adjectives in a particular way. So therefore, how do you do it? How do you do it? Now today, we are going to look at two types of adjectives. And these are the adjectives of shape. That tell us the shape of something. And the adjective of size. That tell us how big or small something is. So, we have different shapes that we know of. For example, good, square, uh -huh. circle, circle, uh -huh. circle, uh -huh. we have the word circle, circle, uh -huh. oval, oval, rectangle. Yes, all those are the different types of shapes. What about sizes? We have big. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, small. Let us start uh, with those two. Now, with me here, I have a, a carton of milk. I hope you can see it. A carton of milk. Now, let's use uh, the shape to describe this carton of milk. Which shape is this? Yes, rectangle. A rectangle. Rectangle. Very good. What about the size? Is it big or small? Mm -hmm. Somebody says uh, small. So let's use two, those two words uh, to describe this carton of milk. Now, when it come, comes to using these two words, uh, the adjective of size, this one that shows the size, will come number one. Will come number one. Then it will be followed by the adjective of shape. So we will say the teacher was holding a small, a small rectangular, 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 uh -huh, carton, milk. Okay, carton. The teacher was holding a small rectangular carton. A small rectangular carton. Size, shape. Size, shape. Size, shape. I hope that together. Let's look.
look at uh, our whiteboard, the way the one we are writing on. Our whiteboard is, uh -huh, first of all, it is uh, big. Uh -huh. What about the shape? Yeah, most probably square is more likely to be square. So the teacher was writing on a big square, square whiteboard. A big square whiteboard. So therefore, we can see the adjective of size comes first, then followed by the adjective of shape. Size, then shape. Size, then shape. Size, then shape. So therefore, when it comes to describing items, we must use the adjectives in that order. So therefore, as you are at home, as you are with your friends, can you try constructing more sentences that have these adjectives of size and shape. Size and shape. And I'm sure once you do a lot of practice, you will be able to get used to the way of doing this. Therefore, keep on working harder, keep on doing better, and you're going to become good at this. Have a good time. Let's meet you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.